when you're looking for a contractor or even a good dry cleaner, someone has probably told you to check with Angie's List. It took 16 years for Angie's List to gain 1 million households, and in just 18 months, they've doubled that number. Good morning, Indiana anchor Beth Vaughn caught up with the woman who started it all, Angie Hicks, to hear her recipe for success. What started out as a magazine and call-in service out of Ohio that was called Columbus Neighbors has become a household tool for millions across the country. Well, if you think back, 1995, it was pre-internet days. A new name and a new online technology launched Angie's List to where it is today. Angie's List doesn't necessarily cover every single company in town. You know, we're looking for the companies that consumers have rated. Uh, well, and that can service the members. Oh, he just got a new review. 1,300 employees monitor reviews and sell ads, mainly out of these offices in Indianapolis. One rule, though, you can't advertise on Angie's List unless you are an A or B rated business. Let me see what I can do. Keeping the grade up is tough. Just ask Angie Hicks. If I'm not traveling, I'm at the dinner table. Being at the dinner table by six is how Angie balances a marriage, three elementary aged kids, and marketing for a company that is now in 200 markets nationwide. Sometimes we convince people that there's this ultimate superhuman that can be, have the perfect work life balance. And I don't think it's a one size fits all. I think it's really what's important to you as the individual. Before Angie launched the company at 22 years old, she worked at Ryan Steakhouse and at the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo. Now she mentors eager minded young people to seize opportunities as they present themselves, all in the name of success. Beth Vaughn, RT.